Hello friend, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in AutoCAD 2018 metric. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 031 underscore BIABM where you save it. You can also download this file on the website or you follow along with your own file. If you don't have access on if you don't have access on the exercise file, just sit down and watch the video. I will advise you, I will more advise you to download this file on the website. The reason being that I do some of the groundwork in the background. In the last tutorial, I show you how to convert an object to polyline. Then I draw the slab along the circumference of this plan in the background. But if you don't have access to the to this file, you want to use your own file, just go and draw a polyline, go to the home tab, draw panel and select the polyline command. Please a point right down as you see this polyline highlighted. I'm going to press escape. This is another polyline. Just draw the line right around this area so that your drawing will match up with mine. Press escape. In the first floor plan, do the same thing. Press escape. Now is the time to model our object in 3D. Go to the Google Assist button and click the save as icon. This brings the save drawing as dialog box. If you plan to open this file in earlier version of AutoCAD, go to the file of type and change this file from AutoCAD 2018 to that version. I'm going to select AutoCAD 2007 by clicking this arrow and move the mouse cursor. Then I select AutoCAD 2007. If you look at this with AutoCAD 2007, you see slash LT AutoCAD 2007. This tells you that you can also open this file in AutoCAD LT. Now rename this file to 00 underscore 032 underscore DIABM and click the save button. Zoom out and select this two drawing. Hit delete on your keyboard. Now go to the top left corner and click the vertex of the view cube into this area. AutoCAD plays you in a three dimensional mode. The next step we need to draw the 3D walls. There is so many ways to draw a 3D walls in AutoCAD. First, make sure that you are, you are in my drafting and annotation metric workspace. Go to the 3D tools tab to bring in the 3D command into the 2D environment. Now we need to press through this command into the in, we need to extrude this solid into the third dimension but first go to the home tab layer panel and click the layer properties this will bring the layer properties manager go to click the new button to get a new layer name this layer 3d walls click the color switches and click the color book tab now click the down arrow and select the big color guide part 2. Click on this and use your arrow key to try the different pages. Select the big color 2063 and click OK. Close the layer properties manager. Now go to the home tab, layer panel and click the, go to the view control and click the view manager. Select the first floor plan and click delete to delete it. The ground floor plan, delete it. Delete all of the custom views. Click apply and click OK. Go to the home tab layer panel and click the down arrow. Select the 3D wall layer to make it the current layer. Go to the 3D tools tab, solid edit panel and select the press pull command. At the select object or bounded area prompt, Move the mouse cursor into this area and pick beside this area. Move the mouse cursor at the top and tie 3600 millimeter. Press enter. At the select object or bounded area prompt, this time let's use the select object option. Click on this object and move the mouse cursor into the third dimension. Type 3000 millimeter and press enter. So you see. You can either select object with this command or click in the bounded area. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, layer panel and click the down arrow. Select the cabbage layer command. Now go to the home tab, draw panel and select the line command. Draw a line to join this point from 
Nous tous devons tabler un panel à select de cabbage layer. Nous tous devons tabler un panel à select de line command. I specify first point point. Zoom in into this area and draw a line from this point and snap the line to this point. Press escape. Now go to the home tab layer panel and click the freeze command. Freeze the slab layer to get it off on the drawing. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab draw panel and select the line command again. Draw another line from this point to this point. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the 3D Tools tab, solid edit panel and select the press tool command. At the select object or select bounded area point, click on this area, move the mouse cursor up and type 3600 millimeter, press enter. Press escape to change the current layer back to the 3D work. Go to the home tab, layer panel, select the make current button, click on this wall. Go to the Click access to and select the match property. At the select source object from select this word. As the select destination object from select this word. Press escape to get out of the command. Now go to the 3D tools tab. The solid edit panel and select the press pull command. At the select object from or select bounded area. Click on this area and move the mouse cursor. Type 3600 millimeter. Press enter. Click inside this line. Go to the 3D tools tab. Solid edit panel and select the press pull command. Click inside this wall and move the mouse cursor up. Type 3600 millimeter. Press enter. Press escape to, to get out of the command. Now go to the visual control and click change the visual style to realistic to see your 3D wall. Where your wall look in the real world. Now select this wall, this wall, this wall, this wall. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the move command. I specify this point prompt. Click at this endpoint and move the mouse cursor down. Type 600 millimeter on your keyboard and press enter. Go to the home tab. Go to the 3D tool tab. Solidate panel and select the press pull command. Zoom in into this area and press pull this object. Move it up and type 3000 millimeter on your keyboard. Press enter. Press escape to get out of the command. Orbit around. Go to the 3D tool tab, modeling panel, and click the down arrow under the box and select the poly solid. The poly solid command draw a wall with a specific setting that you specify. First, let's go to the status bar and select the height option or type it on your keyboard and press enter. For the height, type 3000 millimeter. Press enter and go to the status bar and select the width option or type W. Press enter for the width, type 150 millimeter. Press enter. Go to the status bar and select justification or type J on your keyboard and press enter. Change justification to left. Now, at the specified start point prompt, move the mouse cursor and click to the end point of this line. Draw the line, draw the solid wall. Click into this end point, this end point, this end point, this end point, this end point. Press enter. It will draw the 3D wall for you. Now we want to use the object option. To do that, go to the home tab, modify panel and select the trim command. Press enter. Trim off this line, this line. Press escape. Go to the 3D tool tab, solid edit panel and select the poly solid command. Type O on, go to the status bar and select the object option or type O on your keyboard and press enter. Now, click on this solid. Autocad still remember the setting that we use with the object option. As you can see, the, the, the object that you select has been converted to a solid. The only difference is that instead of it thickens on the current layer, it takes the layer of the object that you convert. Now, to move this solid into the right layer, go to the quick access toolbar and select the match property. Select this wall and this wall. Press escape to get out of the command. Now, let's use another method to draw the 3D object in AutoCAD. Go to the 3D tools tab, modeling panel and select the extrude command. At the select object prompt, 
click on this object, press enter. I will specify extrusion height from side 3000 mm on your keyboard and press enter. You see, it's very easy to draw a 3D solid, especially when we have converted the object into polyline. Now select this object, this object, this object, this object, this object. You can use a window selection or a closing window to select more objects. Select this object, this object, this object. Go to the 3D to start modeling panel and select the extrude command. Move the mouse cursor into the Z axis and type 3000 mm. Press enter. It will get extrude all the objects at one go. Now we have a problem with this, with the object in this area. Select this surface. Instead of AutoCAD extrude a solid, it's extruded to a surface. Let's select the surface and hit delete on your keyboard. The problem is that this polyline is not closed. So if the polyline is not closed, AutoCAD extrude the line into surface. To close this line, either you select and right click and select the polyline close option then now if you select the polyline the polyline is closed go to the 3d tool start modeling panel and select the extrude command move to the z direction and type 3000 millimeter press enter quick access to bar and click the save button we we'll learn how to use the press pull command how to press pull in a bounded area how to select an object to press pull how to use a the 3D poly solid and the extrude command. We will continue this tutorial in the next video. If you find this tutorial useful, please click the like button and share it to your friend. If you have any question or you want a specific tutorial, please leave a comment below. If you want to continue on this series or any other tutorial on my channel, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.